Hello, and welcome to a new segment I like to call Unemployed Wednesdays. Today, I'm gonna try and make a macro weave, a macrame, but you weave other fabric into there. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm taking inspiration from a YouTube video I'm seeing, but I don't think I have enough string to do what they're doing, so this one's gonna be original. Hopefully I don't mess up too bad. I've never done one of these before. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty new to macrame, but I've just been like going off ever since I realized that I too have hands that can make knots. So I'm gonna start out by picking one of my mini sticks and then hoping I have, well, I'll just see how much rope I have and then we'll go from there. Stick I chose. I am just counting my cords, making them all even. I'm trying to detangle them, see how many I have because I'm counting. I'm gonna put them on the stick and then see how many more I need because I have about this much string left over, which is great, but I have a feeling I'm gonna use it all. Eighteen pieces. Ideally, I'm supposed to have 34. I'll probably get 24. Um, so I'm gonna start putting these on my stick and then I'm gonna cut more string.
so my camera died. While my camera was dead, I continued on and I kind of went rogue and I'm gonna make a face. So basically this is gonna be the eyeball and I'm gonna put eyelashes and weave in some eye color. These are gonna be the lips and then I'm gonna put another eye here and then we'll go from there. But yeah, I've always kind of wanted to make something with an eyeball in it and I didn't know if I could do it and this shape happened and I was like, well, I could easily close a circle and yada yada from there on. So uh, yeah, here we go. I am, this is gonna be like my line that I'm following and I'm gonna put uh, stitches all along this one. And it'll look like this and this when I'm done. And those will be the lips. It's gonna be like a Picasso line macrame. Time has passed now. I'm pretty sure I shot most of it. I have two eyes, a set of lips, and I have a stack of scraps from all of my past things. And out of that, I'm gonna try and get black string, and hopefully enough to make all of the eyelashes for the eyes. Put those on, do all the lashes, and then I'll probably try and weave the irises tonight, maybe? I don't know. I don't have super much of a plan beyond that. Again, I kind of just did my own thing with this one. Um, but that's what art's about. Uh, doing stuff that you've always wanted to do. I'm gonna continue on. I haven't spoken to anybody since I started this project and it's seven o'clock now and it was like, I don't know, 1.30 or something when I started. So talking um, to anything is hard, let alone an inanimate object like a camera. But you know what's easy to talk to is my cat. She's honestly like the easiest thing in the world to talk to. She's just so cute, and she's small, and she stays in one place most of the time, and uh, other than boring her, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna get to work. It is the next day. Hunter's working from home today, so we can go to yoga. That's great. He's got a little office assistant. And I don't remember where I stopped filming last night, but currently we got two eyes. Now I'm going in and adding color. I was gonna make this lips, but I'm kind of thinking otherwise, and I'm just gonna make that a colorful area. So that's the update.
Hello everybody, it is day three of this project. Currently still just adding color. Turns out weaving is a lot more time consuming than I realized, but that's okay. We're getting through it. I'm still, it's still freelance. It's like now freelance Friday instead of freelance Wednesday. So really we're killing it. Hopefully I'll finish this today because I have another project planned that I want to start filming. I was hoping on filming it today, but that probably won't happen. I'll probably start it next week. Also update, it has been raining this whole week in LA, which I have been loving. There's nothing like just sitting at home with hot coffee and art project and TV. It's great to be like unemployed in the rain because when you're unemployed and it's sunny outside, you just feel like a piece of shit for not working. I'm currently adding this stuff, which is technically unspun yarn. This is yarn or rope, cord, whatever you want to call it. This has not been spun yet. So it's just raw. It's just raw dyed wool. In high school, I made a whole scarf out of it, which is very difficult. And it also wasn't super cute. It's not great. I didn't wear it that often. So I was like, let me take out the thread and use it on this. Well, let me tell you, it is not easy. First of all, it likes to just break, like just from the weight of the scarf, it'll break. So it's really difficult. And this has taken me almost the same amount of time as this section did. And I wasn't even gonna go back and do it because it's so difficult, but because I ended up getting this much out of my scarf and I wanted to just tie in this little bit of color and texture, I'm just gonna, I don't know, but go back and do this in some of here and then call that a day. So I'm gonna add some more tears to here, get some more texture going, and then probably add some more color up here, maybe some tassels here. I wanted to add some more fringe, but I think I'm just gonna leave the fringe for the eyelashes because I don't want to take away from that. So since I last left, coronavirus happened and uh, I haven't done any work on any project since then because the world is ending and I didn't know how to think about it. But now that it's the beginning of week three, I feel like it's finally time for me to start just pretending like the world isn't ending. Um, so I finished this piece and I'm going to start a couple new ones. Um, maybe I really want to start some more just coronavirus vlogs because uh, like when else in my lifetime is this probably ever going to happen? Hopefully never again. Um, so hopefully more of those to come. I'll show you the rest of the finished piece. See you for the next video. Thank you. Bye.